First Baptist Church of Fuqua Varina. Church History Presented for Homecoming, October 2021. Count your blessings and see what God has done. These words have a great impact on members and friends of First Baptist Church of Fuqua Varina. These words bear particular significance to our congregation because they illustrate activities held from our meager origin until the present time. On October 4th, in the year of our Lord, 1912, a group of migrant Christians assembled to organize the first black missionary Baptist church in Fuqua Springs, North Carolina. This meeting was held in the Masonic Hall that was located near the site of the present structure. Reverend Paul Yancey, who became the first pastor, was the spiritual advisor for the historic venture. The original church was named Union Baptist. That name was chosen because these charter members had migrated from other areas, but each was a devout missionary Baptist. Therefore, in keeping with their faith and adhering to their religious teachings, the name Union Baptist was a Christian symbol for their divine ventures. There were 15 members when the church was organized. All have since gone on to the great beyond to reap the harvest of their labors. They labored diligently in the vineyard, not without trials and tribulations, but with true faith. First Baptist is a living monument to their labors. The charter members were brothers Robert Allen, Ira Burton, Elijah Harris, D.M. Speed, Graham Speed, Jerome Speed, Robert Speed Sr., Tom Speed, Will Speed, sisters Roberta Burton, Francis Harris, Rosa Speed, Dora Speed Norris, Roberta Speed Young, and Annie Walker Street. During the first year of organization, church services were held in the Masonic Hall. The goal of the small congregation was to acquire land and construct a building for a permanent place of worship. Funds were acquired through the concerted efforts of members, through pledges, contributions, donations from other churches, and friends throughout the community. Through prayers and divine meditation, on September 12, 1913, the congregation moved into its own building to hold the first revival. Less than one year from its genesis, the church was expounding Christianity in its own sanctuary, giving true meaning to the words, If God is for you, who can prevail against you? During the administration of the church, there have been expansions and a change of the original name. In 1922, during the tenure of Reverend Johnny Jones, the building was expanded to accommodate a larger congregation. In 1927, under the pastorate of Reverend Lee Johnson, the church's name was changed from Union Baptist to First Baptist Church of Fuquay Springs. The structure that was expanded in 1922 stood until January 1941, when it was destroyed by fire. Under the leadership of Rev. W. L. Wilson, additional land was purchased and an expansion program was launched. As it is in all cases where the goodness of the Lord is superlative, the goal was attained and on September 20th, 1945, the church moved into its present building and the cornerstone was laid. Since the church's meager beginning, from 1912 to the present, First Baptist Church has called 21 pastors. In order of tenure, they are 
Reverend Paul Yancey, Reverend Walter Thorpe, Reverend A.V. Avery, Reverend Tom Peace, Reverend Henry Jenkins, Reverend Johnny Jones, Reverend Lee Johnson, Reverend C.C. Clark, Reverend W.L. Wilson, Reverend Roy Sykes, Reverend M.R. Silvers, Reverend E.G. Williams, Reverend N.A. Trice, Reverend Richard Wright, Reverend Lloyd Hill, Reverend Leonard Purcell, Reverend Mervyn John, Reverend Michael Smith, Reverend Thomas E. McCullers, Reverend Dr. Richard J. Bradley, Reverend James D. Ballard, Interim, and our current pastor, Reverend Dr. Reginald U. Lowry. Under the pastorate of Reverend Thomas McCullers, who was called in September 1994, four members presented themselves before the church as called servants of God. They are Reverend Cranford Davis, Minister Daniel Marshall, Minister Charlene Mangum, and Minister Arnetta Robinson. Also under Reverend McCullers' tenure, a van was purchased and additional restrooms were installed on the upper level for improved accessibility for visitors and parishioners. While seeking a pastor in 2007, God sent us the dynamic Reverend James D. Ballard as interim pastor. He stood in the gap and fed the sheep until God prepared Reverend Reginald U. Lowry to take over, who was called in May 2008 and officially installed as pastor in June of 2008. God sent a pastor who was blessed with prayer and meditation. Under his pastorate, worship and ministries such as Thursday Bible Study and Women's and Men's Fellowship were formed. The Dream Team was formed to realize the vision of an expanded building and land was purchased for the expansion. The parking lot was refurbished, a logo was adopted, the technology system was upgraded and building security was enhanced. Also during this time, another longtime member presented herself before the church as a called servant of God, Minister Cassandra McLean Newkirk. Perhaps Pastor Lowry's leadership has shown most brightly when in 2020, the world faced one of its darkest obstacles with the coronavirus pandemic. Almost all daily activities were paused, but the pastor, along with a select group of worship leaders at risk to their own health, met weekly to produce online service when in-person activities were suspended. With strong support of social media technology, Pastor Lowry continued to be a good shepherd to meet the spiritual needs of his congregation and to a broader audience with modified worship services on Facebook, YouTube, and Zoom. As we observe our 109th homecoming, we pray God will bless all who worship with us. Our mission is to promote salvation through a powerful worship service by developing trust through cultivating fellowship and cooperation among our members and community. Our vision is to be a Christ-like, loving, and committed church because we are a unified body of believers through the Spirit of Jesus Christ and the belief in the one true living God. May the members of this church spread love and have pride instilled within their hearts knowing that we are somebody because we belong to God as we proclaim our motto, where everyone is someone and God is all. To the future, 
Going forward, we will continue to be the church God has called to be the beacon in the community where it had always been and continues to serve as a symbol of faith, service, and praise. May we continue to carry the legacy started many years ago by evangelizing to the lost for Christ while promoting fellowship among the members of First Baptist Church and the community. Achieving this goal while promoting fellowship among the members and the community is critical if we are to grow successfully into the next 100 years. In the past, we have seen growth due to the efforts of a strong faith-based membership despite changes in church demographics. Nevertheless, our base remains steady Therefore, we will move undauntedly into the community, saving souls as is our charge. We must respond to the needs of the present so that we will be ready for the future, particularly as it relates to the church. Originally compiled by the late Annie Walker Street, Revised by the late Joan Stark, church clerk, 1964, 1996, 1997, 1998, 2002, 2005, 2007. Revised by the late Carolyn Trice Walker, 2000. Revised by Katrina Crosby, church clerk, 2008. Revised by Nanette Sneed Riley, 2009, 2010. Revised by Marion Tucker, 2012. Revised by Rhonda D. Burt, Church Clerk, 2018. Revised by Rhonda D. Burt, Church Clerk, and Jerry Murdoch, 2021. Thank you to everyone that is with us for our homecoming this year. We hope you will join us next year for our 110th anniversary and for many years to come. First Baptist Church of Fuquay Varina, worship with us, 105 Northwest Street, Fuquay Varina, North Carolina, 27526. Connect with us. Our website is www.firstbaptistfuquay.com. Email us at firstbaptistfv at fbcfuquay.org and find us on social media. Our Facebook and Instagram is firstbaptistfv1912.